guys make sure you motherfucking subscribe to my channel it takes nothing from you so be a motherfucking good christian and motherfucking good person and click a motherfucking button the red button <laughs> the one down there if you don't i'll be seeing you like i've got eyes in the back of my fucking head yeah i can see you wherever you are Come. my cat is saying bitch why you lying why you lying bitch what it is my niggas so welcome back to my motherfucking channel guys today today i'm coming to you with the story time yeah i don't normally do story times on my youtube channel but today i decided why not you know why not because i've got some really funny stories to tell them okay so basically this story time was way back when i was in college time damn them days i missed it but yeah what can we do we can go back so them days we used to think we was bad you know well i used to think i was bad <laughs> because back in secondary school yeah me and my friends used to like the fuck we used to go and still in motherfucking primark new look we would go in the act like we're looking around shopping around bitch you take off that motherfucking tag and you put that shit in your motherfucking bag yeah but you have to be careful of the camera and the security guards yeah this takes me back to my story now <laughs> so back in college i used to think i'm still bad because in secondary school i used to get away with um yeah taking things from shops yeah stealing things from shops okay so me and my friend yeah was um late we stayed back in college that day we had so many assignments i was doing fashion design um, that was the course that I was doing in Croydon College. So that day we had so many assignments, so we stayed back late. After we finished, we was like, oh, where do we go down to Primark? If you guys know Croydon, then you know the where the shopping centre is. There's lots and lots of stores around there. And Primark was one of them. One of the fucking store. It was a big Primark as well. So we went inside Primark. Fab, I actually went to shop, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I went with my peas, my little peas there. I was going to shop around, I was looking for things. So I just shopped around, picked anything that I wanted, and we paid for everything. So by the time we're getting to leave, fam, we're leaving. Tell me why I might not have seen that fucking dress that I'm not that I wanted in the first place. Yeah, this dress is the reason why I went to Primark. Now I'm thinking, fuck, I've already paid for the shit that I got. Yeah, and then now I'm seeing the dress that I wanted. I was like, okay, let me check the price eight pounds. I'm like, this little money. Yeah, the fucking queue was long as well, so I wasn't trying to go and do the cue or anything i was like no nah. let me just take this no one's gonna see that's what i thought bitch okay i take it in put it in my thing i'm walking me, me and my friend yeah we're going walking to the fucking exit yeah fucking hell two big guys come up to me and grab they grab us both of us actually <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on, bitch? Like, leave me alone, what the fuck? Like, why are you grabbing me? And the guy was white, yeah. So I knew I could play that racist card. Yeah. But <clears throat> anyway, so he pulls us to the side. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you grabbing us? 
he was like oh we saw you taking something we want to check your bags we want to check your bags i was like okay 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 let me not check i was like okay cool cool, cool. actually they were like oh we want to check both of your bags and i was like nah no way my friend couldn't still nah it wasn't her it wasn't her it's was just me it's fine i'll just show you you know I'll show you my bags you know hey can take the fucking dress i can pay for it fam like I, it's not like i had no peace fam i already came and bought things in your fucking shop yeah so don't piss me off so the guy was like no you have to come to the fucking to the office we have to take your name blah 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 we're gonna call the police i'm like ah! <laughs> it's like that it's like this but no no i was struggling i wasn't trying to go man this guy was proper manhandling me he was manhandling me bam if you see this guy he was big and me a tiny little tiny cell fam i was struggling you know i was like there was a point i was like okay let me know you know i might break an arm or something i might break something because this guy is too strong for me i cannot run away from this like let me just let me just let go okay because <laughs> i was sweating like my eyebrows were sweating my outfits like i was like no nah, no way and i think it was winter time mom so i wonder why i'm fucking sweating but because i was struggling like the fuck that guy was huge bro i was like you're a fucking racist let the fuck go let me go i'm gonna go into your fucking office fam i'm gonna go into your fucking office but let me the fuck let, let me go the fuck <laughs> so he he stabbed a bit but he was still there scott him into his little office the security guard office and my friend was on the back coming as well so i went in oh by the way i had some rings that i stole from primark as well they were in my jacket yeah my leather jacket i put them in there so the girl was like oh we have to search everything da, da, da. i was like okay you search me search me and he saw the rings but he thought it was mine i was like nah these were in there already like nah it's mine <laughs> sorry because they didn't have any tag and they looked like single rings like it was single rings in my in my jacket so it looks like it was already there it was mine and then it was just the dress that i really took that he found out i think he was like oh i'm gonna call the police da da or because you're under age i was like huh bitch i'm motherfucking 18 and above the fuck are you talking about the fuck luckily that year like I had turned 18. Um, he wanted to call the police and call my parents as well. So I was like, my mom is not here. Oh, she's not here. Because at the beginning, he wasn't telling me why he was going to call the police or why he wanted to speak to my mom. Because me, without my makeup, I look like a fucking 12-year-old. Like, So imagine, he thought I was underage. So by the time I realised it's because of my age, I was like, no, mother. I'm motherfucking I saying okay I'm really good in this motherfucking bitch so I showed him my ID I was like okay cool he was like oh we're gonna send you a letter home you have to pay so and so I think it was like 200 pounds you have to pay and so that this case wouldn't go to the court da -da -da. it's gonna just finish between me and Primark so I went home and then after a few days, I think, or a week, they sent a letter telling me I was banned from that Primark in Croydon. This motherfucking pricks. Like, there's Primarks everywhere. There's Primarks everywhere. I even went to fucking Amsterdam, there was a Primark there. So, don't get me fucked up, yeah. If I wanted to do that again, I would have done it anywhere, yeah. Anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm done with those days. Yeah, I'm much grown now. I pay for my shit. I pay for everything. Yeah, I pay for everything. All right. And well, my mom pays for some as well. And my boyfriend. <laughs> but yeah, so mm, that's it. That was my story, fam. I got banned in Primark. I think they banned me for like a year or something or three years. I'm not sure. 
but I still went back to that motherfucking Primark and they never recognized me and so what yeah time to go now these juices I put your niggas in the place cause they're acting up, they're acting up How can you play tricks with the gameplay? I put yourself, you play the trick on yourself You're talking this just why you can only blame yourself I wash my hands, how you play, yeah Bitch